now one of the largest wildfires ever to impact the state of Texas continues burning out of control this morning. As you heard Cody say, we might even feel a bit of an impact from those fires here in Minnesota. Kelly O'Connell joins us from the Live Center taking a look at the damage, recovery efforts, and what is fueling these flames. Good morning, Kelly. Good morning. Officials say strong winds, dry grass, unseasonably warm temps, all fueling these flames, and they push the fire that just started on Monday to now be one of the largest in Texas history. This hasn't been going on for weeks, only days. So far, more than one million acres of land in the Texas panhandle, panhandle have burned. The largest of the fires, it's called the Smokehouse Fire. It has now burned 1,300 square miles, and it's now crossing into Oklahoma. The fire now larger than the state of Rhode Island. At this point, officials say it's only 3% contained. As of right now, there are 64 counties with burn bans in place and some residents who have been able to go back home after the fire moved on from their area are now left to dig through the debris and try to find and salvage anything that may have survived. Still emotional, it, it's, it's, this is our life. I mean, we've been here for 50 years and it's, it's, it's pretty tough. Friday and end of the weekend, you're gonna start seeing some adverse weather conditions come back to us. I don't want the community to there to feel a false sense of security that all of these fires will not grow anymore. This is still a very dynamic situation. Yeah, ever evolving for sure. At least one person is confirmed dead at this point. Officials do believe the evacuation orders earlier this week did help prevent kind of mass, mass casualties here. Now, let's take a look at how big these fires are. And, and we're looking at this through satellite videos. The areas in white, those are flames. And you can see how it just flares and quickly spreads across the panhandle all the way up to the Oklahoma border. Officials say the fires have been hard to contain, of course. They could, though, get some help today. Rain and snow is in the forecast with temps hovering right in the 30s and 40s. But as you heard the official there say, come this weekend, the wind is expected to pick back up, making it more difficult to fight those fires. Yeah, Guys, something to see. All right. Thanks so much, Kelly.